tracking everybody. New video. Um, keep it real with you. Um, I've been in like had like a, a um, <clears throat> like a mental block as far as what to uh, speak on in these videos. Um, before I go into anything. I want to shout out the two newest members of the channel, um, Tank and the San Calero 5. Um, the San Calero 5 is also uh, on my Patreon. Uh, both of you guys, I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Anyone wanting to be a member of the channel, I'll put the link in the description. Um, so... You know, it's, it's a new year, right? It's the start of a new year. Everybody starts a year off pretty much out here hopeful. Hopeful for what the new year might have in store. Uh, just hopeful for a lot of things, man. You know, we, we went through what we went through the last year. And, and you know, 2020 was a fucking weird-ass year, right? A lot of us went through a lot of shit. A lot of us lost people. Right. And so we enter this new year and we're like, this one, this one is going to be a good one. You know, after going through all that, this one's going to be a good one. And um, <clears throat> on January 1st, I lost my deal to cancer. Um, I had mentioned him, a, you know, a few months back in a video that he had cancer and he was fighting it. And uh, so, yeah, he, he, he succumbed to it. January 1st, so I got that call, right? And, um, but the worst phone call I got, uh, was from, from home, from my hometown, right? And, uh, you know, again, a new year is new beginnings, uh, time for hope. And on New Year's, um, a youngster, I believe he's 17 years old, uh, in my neighborhood, was stabbed up. Um, I heard he died. I, I don't know. I heard he died. I heard he didn't die. Um, don't know who did it. Don't know if it was gang related or not. Don't know none, none of that, right? I have nothing to do with that scene, right? Uh, then I know a few days later, dudes from uh, from the east side, the main rivals of my own neighborhood, uh, four of them were shot. Two were killed. Young dudes, man, 17 and 18 years old. Don't know who did it. Don't know if it was gang related. Don't know nothing. Just know what I see, right? Um, from what I hear from family, um, streets are hot right now. And so, <clears throat> I want to shout out everybody. Let everybody know on both sides, east side and west side, that my prayers go out to you. You know, uh, me being from the streets, me living that that life, it was surprising to me that I kind of, because I've been so wrapped up in living and so wrapped up in uh, Just fighting to stay afloat with all the stuff going on, you know. Um, you know, I mean, I never mentioned it before, but a few years before I got out, my wife got hurt on the job. And, uh, you know, it's been eight years. She's been in a lawsuit for eight years. Them giving her a penny. And so for me being... Uh, 
someone coming out of prison, never being responsible in my life to have to come out here and um, and work my ass off. That's not a problem, blood, blood, blood. It's not a problem, but uh, you know, it's it's something completely different for me. You know, and having to um, be able to cover everything. You know, so it's like I forgot, man, that. That dudes are in the streets still. Like, we don't see it now the way we saw it before, you know, in the 80s and 90s when, you know, everywhere you went, basically, you saw you saw bangers, you know, and now you don't really see that. I don't know, because the injunctions or just the times have changed. You, you, you know, speaking for myself, it's like I forgot that, um, They're not just on Instagram, you know, showing guns and flexing. There's dudes still on the streets that are still with it, you know. And it was just a few days into this new year, man, and, and uh, lives were lost and families were destroyed, you know. And here we are worrying about making the, the rent on time and making our phone bill on time and our cable and gas or whatever. And there's these families and, the, and this is everywhere, man. This is not just in, in, in SD. This is, I mean, this happening all over the place in LA, in, in San Jose, you know, San, San Diego, wherever, man. Families are trying to figure out how they can bury, how can, how, how can they get the money to bury their sons? I don't speak ill of anyone who is still caught up in that lifestyle because, like I've said before, I know what the motivation is. Um, whether what's motivating them is true or not, it's what they believe, and whatever you believe in will control you, you know? And, uh, but I can say that at my age and with my life experiences, uh, it hurts my heart to know that that uh, that people still feel like what they're lacking in here is out there on them streets, and that what they're lacking in here uh, enables them to take another life. And I know what it is. You know, when I was doing my thing. I didn't give a fuck about myself. I did not love myself or see value in myself. And so I was incapable of seeing value in other people. Um, it enabled me to uh, not hesitate, not even for a second, to do what needed to be done on many occasions uh, out here on the streets and in prison. No one uh, has been caught. I think in the stabbing there might have been somebody caught. In the shooting there wasn't, but it doesn't matter, man. Sooner or later, shit catches up to you. And, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, you know, I mentioned it before, it's like throwing a, a pebble into a pond and you see the ripples. You know, and that metaphor is like the crime that happened, these murders that happened, that's the rock hitting the water. And that ripple effect is, is all the family members, current and future family members that have been devastated, that have been robbed of memories, you know, you know of laughter, of pain, of tears, of sorrow with that family member. You know, I just wanted to make this video, man, and uh, like I said, 
semis out to both the east side and the west side. You know, believe me, I know if anybody feels it was the other side that did something, uh, shit's gonna go back and forth for a while. And it doesn't bring anybody back, man. Whoever's been lost is lost, man, unfortunately. And the system is going to swallow you up when they catch you. Your family is going to be completely devastated. Your children, uh, if you have any. And if you don't, you might, you might never. But, like I said, this is going on everywhere, man. And any youngster watching this video that's got hate in their heart towards someone that's from a different block, a different neighborhood, when you're by yourself, try to figure out where that hate comes from. Ask yourself how you feel about you. Try to figure out why you feel that way. If you even can say whether it's true or not that you love yourself, why do you love yourself? And if you hate yourself, why do you hate yourself? Get these answers, man. Maybe it'll keep you alive or maybe it'll keep you out of prison. That's my hope for you, man. With that, I'm out.